So I just want to do this uh, real quick video on uh, the issue with these uh, 12 volt diesel heaters where you're getting white smoke coming out of the exhaust and you can't start it up. There's no, you get the uh, no ignition error uh, code 10 or whatever. So uh, the reason for this in a nutshell um, is because the you're not getting enough air with the diesel fuel to cause the diesel fuel to ignite into a flame. It just smolders the diesel fuel on the glow plug. So the glow plug heats up, the diesel fuel he, uh, hits the glow plug, but there's not enough air, which means there's not enough oxygen to mix with the diesel fuel for the diesel fuel to uh, ignite into a flame. So that's the problem. Um, you'll get a, a certain amount of heat coming out of the system. Uh, in my case, I got a little bit of heat coming out, uh, but there wasn't enough. Uh, it, it just couldn't start up because uh, it didn't have enough air. So uh, when it very first happened, I got this uh, flame extinct um, extinguishment, whatever, E8 error. And then I tried to restart it and I got this E10 error uh, ignition failure. So... I went and uh, I figured out uh, the problem was that this fuel pump went bad, so I bought two new fuel pumps. I bought this one, which is a standard, you know, generic eBay one, and then I saw this other one here, and I thought I'd give this one a try, so I bought this one, and it's rated for uh, the five five uh, kilowatt heaters, so I thought that would uh, might work, and it's supposed to be better quality and ultra quiet and all that stuff. But the problem with uh, this one is that it pumps too much fuel per uh, per cycle or whatever. So that's uh, the issue with mine, which is a, um, a less likely uh, problem uh, that would cause this problem. Uh, but in my case, this is what's causing my problem with the, with the white smoke. So I'm going to take that out and then install this one. And it, hopefully this uh, will do the trick and I'll get the right amount of diesel fuel coming in the system so what i was saying about this uh this fuel pump being um pumping too much fuel um i'm pretty sure i was wrong about that anyway as you can see i got the heater running and uh, i swapped the fuel pumps out but uh, let me explain this after i turn this down here okay so i'm underneath the rv and you can see uh you know the wheels and tires here so uh, the exhaust from the diesel heater comes down here and connects to the uh, exhaust on the motorhome and then it goes out and the reason why I did, was doing this is uh, so I could dissipate heat as the exhaust, hot exhaust travels along this big pipe and then exits, it's uh, radiating he heat under here. So that was my idea but what uh, the problem was was that uh, soot and stuff was building up uh, right down in, inside of here and uh and blocking the exhaust so it wasn't the fuel pump it was uh, actually my exhaust pipe uh that was blocked up so i'll show you how to check this here in a second so i uh, just pop this off unscrew the the uh intake thing pop the cover off unplug uh the uh the um glow plug from the the board here control board pull the boot back um, and then uh, get yourself your 12 millimeter deep well socket with the slit in it. You can buy these off eBay or make your own like I did previously with the deep well so <coughs> socket. You can also use a wrench, but if you run the risk of uh, damaging it because it's real brittle. <coughs> so I'll pop the glow plug out and then, um, then you'll see this little uh, combustion hole here right above the screen mesh um a lot of a lot of people don't uh, notice it at first um but yeah there's a little uh little hole that goes through here and if that's plugged up it's not going to allow air to flow through and mix with the diesel and allow it to combust so get something clear that hole out and uh, make sure it's um clear and uh, free and then um, put it back together and try to start it up. Um, if you installed a, uh, a screen mesh, make sure you push the screen mesh past that hole um, because if you don't, that screen mesh is gonna block that hole and um, then you're gonna have the this issue. So just be aware of that. Um, 
yeah, put it all back together, see if it starts up. Um, before you do this, if it's easier for you, just come down here to uh, the intake, pull the intake tube off, um, pull it off, stick your finger up in there, make sure nothing's uh, blocking that, and then the exhaust as well. If this thing's been burning real rich for a while, it can cause the exhaust here to uh, plug up and um, and restrict the flow. So you got the combustion chamber here, uh, you got air coming in and you got air coming out. So if either one of these is plugged up, it's gonna cause this problem. So there's actually uh, a lot of other reasons why it won't start up, You'll why you might get that E10 air code. Um, but uh, in most cases, it's gonna be that little tiny hole above the screen mesh where the glow plug goes in or the intake or exhaust um, is restricted on the combustion side of it. So anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, if it did, leave me a like and um, 